okay good Sorry guys, yesterday due to some Instagram problem, I am unable to send yesterday's video. Today I will send both yesterday and today's video. No problem at all. Okay, just please wait. I don't know what happened today. My mouse is not in my control. When I try to want to click someone, it is clicking on some other one. Okay, about the screen. Okay, good. See. Yesterday we are starting the concept of the structure of the compiler. Compiler. We have seen briefly what is the structure of the compiler. When we come to the structure of the compiler, the entire compiler is divided into two parts. The first one is the analysis part. The second part is the synthesis part. Okay. The entire structure of compiler, the process of compilation is divided into two parts: analysis part as well as the synthesis part. when we come to analysis part it is known as the front end when we come to synthesis part it is also known as the back end why because when we come to the analysis part here directly some user interaction will be there directly some interaction will be there with the user when we come to synthesis part here the, it is a background process only user does not have a direct interaction in this space when we go to the front end user has some interaction that's why the analysis part is can call as the front end as well as the synthesis part is called as the back end. That is actually we have seen. When we come to this total process of compilation, it was divided into six phases or six steps, what are we called? Six phases are there in the total process of compilation. Okay, the first phase is lexical analysis. Okay, the second phase is syntax analysis. Third one, semantic analysis. Fourth one, intermediate code generator. Next, code optimizer. Last one, target code generation. These are the six phases that are that are there in the process of compilation of a program. Whenever we try to compile a program, totally the process of compilation has six phases. Okay, lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis. These three are the analysis part. The name itself indicating glue. They are the analysis part: lexical, syntax, semantic. 
last three are the intermediate code generator, code optimization, and target code generation. These three commonly known as the synthesis part. Synthesis means producing. They will produce the machine code. That's why they are called as these three commonly called as synthesis part. Okay. These three steps will generate the required assembly code. Clear. Now, when we come to the lexical analyzer, yesterday we have briefly seen the lexical analyzer. It is also known as the lexical analysis. It is also known as the scanning phase. Okay, here the entire program will be scanned. The total program will be scanned. And here the aim of this program is to divide the total program to identify the lexmes in the program. Okay, the total aim of this step is to identify the lexmes in the program. Which are matching two tokens of the programming language. Okay, to identify the lexmes which are similar to the tokens of the language. In one line answer, what is this lexical analysis means? To identify the lexmes in the program which are identical to the tokens of the programming language. Clear. Yesterday we have briefly seen what are the tokens of a programming language. Generally, for every language. Six basic tokens will be there. They are identifiers, keywords, constants, next special symbols, strings. One more is missing. Identifiers, keywords, constants, strings, special symbols, and one more last one is the yeah operators. Okay, six uh, six tokens are there for every language. The duty of the lexical analysis is. To identify the lexmes in the program, which are identical to those tokens. See what is a lexme means. Lexme is nothing but the sequence of characters in the source code which are matching to a token. Lexme is known as the sequence of characters in the source code that are matching to the pattern of a token. Clear. Tokens are the basic units of the programming language. Lexmes are Sequence of characters in your program which are matching to those tokens. Clear. Those are called the. It's also the sequence of the group of characters in your program which are matching to the lex tokens are known as here as lexmes. Clear. So in one line, the lexical analysis part is to identify the lexmes in the program. The name itself will include the lexical analyzer duty is to identify the lexmes in the program. Clear. Generally, people will call this one also as that the duty of the lexical analysis is in one line. Simply, some people will say the process of identification of tokens is the duty of the lexical analysis. The process of identification of tokens. Okay, some people will call directly this the process of identification of tokens in the source code is known as lexical analysis. But actually, the process of identification of lexmes in the source code. Is known as the lexical analysis. Lexmes are nothing but the sequence of characters which are matching to the tokens of the programming language. Clear. Next, we have seen another again an example also. These are the tokens. Generally, every language will contain these tokens: keywords, identifiers, constants, strings, operators, as well as special symbols. Clear. Whenever there is a programming line like this, here the aim of this lexical analysis is to identify to categorize. X identifier equal to assignment operator, Y identifier plus addition operator, then constant. Like that, it has to identify the lexmes in the program which are matching to the tokens. Clear? This the right. second column is called the tokens. The first column is called the lexmes. These are called lexmes. X is equal to Y plus, and all these are called lexmes. Why? Because these are the which are directly present in the source code. These are the The sequence of characters which are directly present in the source code, but they are identical to the tokens of the language. Clear. That is the lexical analysis. Okay, for this sample program also, after we have seen the sequence of lexmes. What are the lexmes in this program also? Yesterday we have seen. Next, when we come to the second phase, after lexmes are identified, what is the syntax analysis? Is okay. The duty of the syntax analysis is it is also known as syntax analysis is also known as parsing. The another name for syntax analysis, the uh, lexical analysis is also known as scanning. The syntax analysis is also known as the parsing. The duty of this lexical anal syntax analysis is okay to take lexmes as input. They will take the syntax analysis will take lexmes as input 
and it will generate a parse tree or syntax tree okay the syntax analysis will generate a parse tree or syntax tree by using the lexmes identified in the lexical analysis by using those lexmes in the lexical analysis it will try to construct the syntax tree or parse tree we will learn in depth about this syntax analysis when we go to the particular chapter okay here we are briefly discussing when we come to the future classes we will get more clarity how the tree is constructed what are the rules and regulations for constructing the tree clear so that is the thing this is the main aim of the syntax analysis is to identify to construct the syntax tree or parse tree by using the lexmes present in the lexical analysis here what it will do is while constructing that syntax tree or parse tree the lexical analysis the syntax analysis will do one work while converting that lex lexmes into the syntax tree what is the duty means okay it will verify the arrangement of tokens in the program arrangement of tokens in the source code is according to the grammatical rules of the programming language or not while constructing the syntax tree or parse tree the syntax analysis will also verify that whether the tokens arrangement in the source code is according to the grammatical rules of the programming language or not okay that is the duty of this one clear whether all that the sequence of tokens given in the programming source code is as per the programming language or rules or not that is verified by this one ఇది మాక్సిమం ఉండండి ఓకే ఐ విల్ ట్రై క్లియర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యు గో టు ద ప్రీవియస్ స్టెప్ అగైన్ x is equal to y plus 10 ఓకే హియర్ ద లెక్స్ అనాలసిస్ ఐడెంటిఫైడ్ x as identifier it separated x it separated assignment operator it separated y plus 10 ఓకే ఇన్ ద గివెన్ సోర్స్ కోడ్ ఇట్ ఐడెంటిఫైడ్ ద లెక్స్ మీస్ ద లెక్స్ మీస్ ఇన్ ద గివెన్ కోడ్ ఆర్ x comma y comma equal to comma plus comma 10 all are the lexmes okay these are given to the syntax tree syntax analysis okay the syntax analyzer what it will do is first it will observe that the arrangement of these tokens in the progress of source code is as per the rules and regulations of the programming language or not okay whether they are following the syntax rules of the programming language or not first it will verify if it is following the syntax rules of the programming language happily it will construct the parse tree or syntax tree otherwise it will generate the errors clear the syntax analysis say whether they are following the grammatical rules of the programming language or not if it is not following the rules of grammar grammatical rules of the programming language then it will generate the errors otherwise it will then uh, it will produce syntax tree or parse tree for example in the programming language how should we write this line a? y x is equal to y plus 10 we have to write in the program as x is equal to y plus 10 semicolon clear in that way only we have to write if you write in that way only then it is according to the syntax of the programming language c language or java they will accept this line in the format x is equal to y plus 10 semicolon okay it will verify what when the lexmes is given by this lexical analysis first the syntax analyzer will verify whether it is according to that one the group of tokens are according to the grammatical rules of the programming language or not if it is not according to the programming rules it will generate error otherwise it will construct the tree clear for example if the same line is like this x is equal to y 10 plus if i write x is equal to y 10 plus okay here then it will verify x is equal to y 10 plus since it is not according to the grammatical rules of the programming language okay c language will not accept that one the languages will not accept the format x is equal to y 10 plus we have to write x is equal to y plus 10 only okay like that it will verify whether the sequence of arrangement of tokens is according to the programming language rules or not if it is not following the source code grammar okay then it will raise the error clear if it is according to that one happily it will generate the parse tree or syntax tree clear in the future classes we will learn more in the how to construct syntax tree for every type of line 
presently i am showing a small sample line okay for example if there is any line like this a plus b star c the opacity will be like this for the formula a plus b star c generally the opacity will be like this in this expression first which one has to be performed first a plus b has to be performed so first a plus b okay then the result of a plus b is multiplied with c so a plus b star c okay which type of order it is when we come to the order of expressions how many types of order of expressions are there we know the concept of order of expressions how many order of expressions are there i am asking order of expressions that means in how many ways we can write the formula in computer science who is that bahubali seven ways what are the seven ways i think you know okay i will come to this one when we come to the expressions are formulas okay we have three ways are there very familiar we are in order pre order post order generally we have three ways are there to write the expression or formulas okay in order pre order and post order had you heard these three words gutna and in order pre order and post order in order means left right and is left root right ds yes ds lo manaku vachayandi we have learned them in the ds okay ipp manaki ee parsed ee edi follow avutundi cheppagalara by seeing this example which order it is following which order this parsed ee is following left root right that means which order yeah here it is following the in order traversal okay by using the techniques of in order traversal pre order or post order it will generate the parse tree how it is generating the parse tree while the, for the given statements means by using the concept of the in order traversal okay by using either in order pre order or post order it will construct the parse trees that we will learn in depth in the future classes okay briefly i have shown you how a parse tree will look like if there is no syntax in the done see for representing expression there is no link with the for order of precedence okay for representing the expression also okay generally we consider the order of precedence when we want to solve that one clear okay that is the thing when we come to this one the syntax analysis will take the lexmis if they are syntactically correct then it will construct the parse tree or syntax tree okay roughly in one line how it will construct it by using either in order or pre order post order we will go to in depth in the future classes about that one okay then is it clear roughly what is the syntax analysis then the next stage is the after syntax analysis the parse tree will be given to the semantic analysis okay the parse tree will be given to the syntax the syntax tree will be given to the semantic analysis okay here what it will verify is the semantic analysis will verify whether the sequence of tokens are meaningful or not okay the semantic what is the semantic analysis will do is okay whatever the tokens generated in the lexical analysis whether the order of arrangement of tokens is meaningful or not see slight difference is there between syntax analysis and semantic analysis what is the syntax analysis will do is it will take that sequence the set of tokens and it will verify whether the arrangement of tokens is as per the rules of the programming language or not as per the rules of the programming language or not and when we come to semantic analysis it will take the same tokens and it will arrange the tokens what it will verify is whether the arrangement of tokens is meaningful or not whether they are meaningful or not that's the thing slight difference is there between semantic analysis and syntax analysis syntax analysis is will verify whether it is according to the programming language or not you don't want whether it is meaningful or not 
if it is according to the programming language it will be happy clear it will be happy when if it is according to the programming language but when we come to semantic analysis it will verify whether it is meaningful or not okay whether that order is meaningful or not okay for your convenience i will show you one thing i will give you one thing Declare a variable in C language. Attendance language. Generally, if I want to declare a variable, a as integer, how can I declare a variable as integer? If I want to declare a variable, I will write yeah in a clear. Next, how to assign the value to a? If I want to give some value to a, if I want to initialize a, what I have to, what is the syntax I have to follow? A is equal to four. Now we have two lines here. Clear. Here we have two lines are there. How many tokens are there in this one totally? Int one token keyword. A is the identifier. Is equal to the assignment operator. Semicolons are the Special symbols. Four is a constant. Okay, these are the tokens. Now, what is the syntax analysis will do is the arrangement of these tokens. In these two lines, we have four tokens are there. Keyword is there. Identifier, assignment operator, constant, and special symbol. Five tokens are there. Okay, the lexical analysis will give these tokens to syntax analysis. What is the syntax analysis will identify here is whether these token arrangement of tokens is as per the grammatical rules or not okay now what it will verify is keyword int is there space variable name followed by semicolon so it is as per the rules of the programming language keyword space variable name space semicolon when we come to second line also variable name when we come to the second one variable name followed by assignment operator followed by constant value followed by semicolon so as per the syntax analysis these two lines are correct okay the syntax analysis will verify whether these two lines are as per the rules the grammatical rules of programming language or not as per the grammatical rules they are correct clear if i change that this one as like this now is the like the, what is the wrong in that lines What is the wrong in these two lines? What is the mistake in these lines? We are declared a. It is as per the syntax of the language. It is right. Int a x semicolon. It is right. A is equal to four point five semicolon. See, as per the syntax rules of the programming language, it is right. Syntax analysis has no problem in this one. Syntax analysis will happily accept that one. Why? Because keyword space identifier semicolon. Variable names is equal to value semicolon. As per the syntax analysis, it is right. But when we come to the semantic analysis, it won't accept the second line. Why it is not accept the second line? It is not meaningful. A is integer, but you are trying to give for a. We are trying to give float value, which is meaningless. Okay, it is not meaningful. The semantic analysis will will not accept that one. Why? Because it is not meaningful. Syntactically, it is correct. As per the rules of the programming language, it is right. But when we come to this one, semantically, it is not correct. It is no. It won't accept as it is. Semantically, not correct. Did you get the difference? What is this syntax analysis and semantics analysis internally? Slight difference. Guys, are you getting this one difference? See one more general example. I will give you to understand this one. When we come to the college, faculty are there in CSE, EC, Triple E, like that. All department have faculty. Okay, from the outside person. Okay, everyone is a faculty. So a faculty can teach any student. Why? Because for the outside persons, everyone can teach everyone, every student. Why? Because these people are faculty. These people are students. So any faculty can teach the students. 
why because he is a faculty he is a student syntactically they are right faculty is teaching student when we come to semantic analysis if ec faculty is teaching c language to or java language to csc student semantically it is not correct not meaningful why because he belongs to tripoli department or ec department but he is teaching computer science subject so semantically it is not acceptable may not meaningful syntactically it is right he is a faculty he is a student both are accepted faculty is teaching student syntactically it is right semantically not acceptable why because he is tripoli faculty subject is java students are java students csc students so semantically not accepted okay the syntax analysis will identify whether the lines are according to the grammatical rules of the programming language or not and semantic analysis will verify the okay whether the, the lines are meaningful or not whether they are the meaningful lines or not clear now one more example which i want to show you now what's the mistake in this one if you observe this line what's the mistake in this one when we write a formula like this an expression like this what's the mistake in that expression missed yeah we missed the parenthesis when we come to syntactically okay then how to write a formula syntactically what is the rule of writing a formula left side output variable will be there okay left side left variable is equal to right side we will write the expression left side we have the variable name assignment operator is there right side we have the expression is there okay syntactically it is okay left variable is there assignment operator right rhs is there lhs is there and assignment operator is there but when we come to this one okay inside this one one parenthesis is missed so it is meaningless it is not meaningful what to do this c by d what is this one it is not meaningful clear syntactically it is okay but when we come to the meaning it is meaningless it is clear first i have to add a plus b then what about this c by d whether i have to do first c by d or i have to multiply with c what is that one it is meaningless why because due to some parenthesis is missed is meaningless okay the semantic analysis will identify this one whether they are semantically correct or not meaningfully correct or not you are you getting the point clearly guys difference between syntax analysis and semantic analysis now is it okay roughly some idea don't need to worry again we will get the concept in the future classes okay we don't leave this like this only we don't leave it like this in the future classes again we will see now this is briefly the syntax analysis and semantic analysis clear when we come to this semantic analysis it will take the parse tree and verify whether it is meaningful or not okay and if required it will make some changes to the parse tree then it is called the verified parse tree the result of the semantic analysis is verified parse tree okay when we come to the semantic analysis it will take parse tree of syntax analysis as the input and it will produce the verified parse tree as the output 
what it will verify is so these are the list of some list of items what it will verify whether meaningful or not type checking okay data type checking previously we have seen example a is equal to 4.5 it is checking a is integer this is 4.5 is float so matching of type and data type matching it will verify whether the data types are matching or not that is the one point it will verify next what it will check flow control checking what are the flow control we have what are the flow control statements we have in the language can anybody answer flow control checking is there what is this flow control statement what are the flow control statements in the programming languages control statements and simply flow control statements and we confuse them what are the control statements in the programming language yeah now we came to them see we have two types of control statements are there decision making statements looping statements loops are there looping statements are if if else sorry looping for loop while loop do while loop etc okay some languages have the for each loop also like that there are the looping statements similarly decision making statements are there simply if if else nested if else nested else switch statement all those are the okay control statements okay one thing it will do is type checking will be verified by semantic analysis next control statements whether the, the control statements are correct or not for loop is as it is okay whether the for loop is right or not when a while loop is right or not like that it will check the control statements are also verified by this semantic analysis next whenever we have the expressions matching of parentheses in the expressions previously we have seen this example also whenever we write formulas in your program matching of the parentheses in that formulas also verified by this semantic analysis matching of if else statements okay when we are writing the if else statements it will verify the matching of okay what are the matching of if else statements for every if nested if else or if i are writing nested if else or nested else if matching of the if else statements meaningfully matched or not it will verify next sometimes if required it will go for type casting i will show you this example also okay if required it will go for type casting of the changing of data type of the variables next identifying the scope of the variables okay we declare the variable somewhere we are using variable somewhere it will verify the scope of the variables whether the variables are acceptable in this location or not these are the works done by the semantic analysis okay type checking control statements checking matching of the parentheses matching of the if else statements type casting type casting means type conversion and checking of the scope of the variables whether the scope of the variables are legal or not like that it will verify these are the works done by the semantic analysis the result of the semantic analysis is also a parse tree which is known as verified parse tree okay it will also take the review the result as parse tree only whatever the parse tree given by the syntax analysis that parse tree will be verified by this semantic analysis and it will also generate the parse tree if required any changes will be there otherwise the same parse tree will be given by this one also okay these are the first three ones lexical analysis syntax analysis and semantic analysis is it clear guys roughly what are these three now roughly is it okay what is this lexical like analysis syntax analysis and semantic analysis now when we come to this one we have how many types of errors are there in programming language how many types of errors are there how many types of errors are there in the programming languages only two only two types of errors are any third type is there what is the third type already two is given by some people compile time run time yeah compile time and run time errors syntax error means compile time error only run time errors are also given what is the third one someone i who is that person ananta has said three what is the third one three is the right answer we have three types of errors are there two names are given by the already few people what is the third category of errors see compile time errors are syntax errors first category run time errors second category run time errors are dynamic errors third category is the logical errors 
ओके ताड़ क्या दिखता है एरर्स आ रहा है लॉजिकल एरर्स सिंटैक्स एरर्स रनटाइम एरर्स एंड लॉजिकल एरर्स आर देर क्लियर इफ योर लॉजिक इज रॉन्ग इट इज कॉल्ड लॉजिकल एरर या एग्जैक्टली लॉजिकल एरर्स आर देर इफ योर लॉजिक इज रॉन्ग गाइस आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू यू ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेंडिंग द आंसर्स प्राइवेटली टू मी please send them publicly so that remaining people also see your answers other person can also see the answers given by few people okay everyone is sending them separately only it is not getting okay we will see what now okay we have three categories of errors are there syntax errors logical errors and runtime errors are there when we come to the logical errors if your logic is wrong it is logical error so when we can identify the logical error only after running of the program by seeing output only we can confirm there is a logical error in the program okay we can identify the logical error only when after the program output has came by observing the output we can understand something is wrong there is a logical error in the program why because we have got wrong output so your logic is wrong so it do, uh, logical error doesn't have any relation with this process next the second type of one another type of is okay the second category is okay leave that public or private messages concept listen what i am see telling okay when we come to second category of errors run time errors are there the run time errors are come can when they will be come the run time errors will be generated at the time of running of the program okay the second category of errors that is run time errors will be era will up, will come only at the time of running of the program clear so they also doesn't have any relation with the programming language now we have the last category is the syntax errors are there the last category of errors are the syntax errors okay which are also known as the compile time errors okay when the compile time errors are syntax errors are how they have, how and when they are identified me at the time of syntax analysis and semantic analysis these two parts okay these two will identify those things okay most of the syntax errors are compile time errors are identified in the syntax analysis and semantic analysis only okay when we come to the first part analysis part most of the syntax errors in the program are identified in the syntax analysis or semantic analysis part and okay so when we write when we compile a program generally we will get errors we will get some errors most of the syntax errors are generated in these two phases only okay Sim syntax analysis and semantic analysis syntax analysis will identify will observe the whether it is structure is as per the rule or not and semantic analysis will observe even though it is as per the rule whether it is meaningful or not okay it will verify whether it is meaningful or not first one will verify whether it is as per the rule or not clear that is the first three cases is it clear guys roughly what are the first three phases of the compiler design okay the process of compilation analysis part is analysis part contains lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis this is the first three categories is it clear guys then we have the after these three phases these three are the analysis only here only the code is analyzed okay nothing has modified to the code only the code is analyzed after these three next we will enter into the synthesis part the next step is the we have to enter into the synthesis part guys is there any class to you now at 3 o'clock actually what is the class in as per the time table okay then we will stop today here itself by because if we start we can't uh, stop it by 3 o'clock we can't stop the concept tomorrow we will continue the intermediate code generation onwards okay tomorrow onwards we will continue this concept of next three phase synthesis part will be continued on the tomorrow clear okay yeah i have changed the settings to chat with host only that's why everyone is privately chatting with the host only 
okay you people cannot chat with one another now i will change to everyone publicly now try to send message publicly to remaining people yeah definitely yeah, i now itself i will share the today's video and tomorrow's sorry yesterday's video also no problem at all tomorrow we will continue this intermediate code generation next code optimization and code generation clear that we will see on the tomorrow is it okay guys now for today i am winding up thank you and one more point guys listen many of people are asking whether we have to write the running notes or will we whether you will give the material okay i will give you the e material no problem at all for complete notes instead of the ppt i will give you the clear notes i will give you soft copy will be sent to you okay by tomorrow evening or on by the end of the sunday i will give you the material up to this concepts so whatever the concept structure of compiler i will give you the complete notes no problem at all no need to worry about the materials clear okay tomorrow we will meet again thank you